Yeah, most unusual for Ronnie there. The cue was right across the ball, and there was no work on the cue ball to come back. That was another indication of how poorly he'd hit it. So he's got one, Reese, in the middle, but this is a lot trickier than they could have been. Hmm, what a game it is, this. Yeah, we say it's all about fractions. And he'd have had a nice, easy start if that red hand had come up back down the table. And missing the red in the middle has presented Ronnie with an easy starter. I don't know if the black's available into both corner pockets. Probably not. One. It's a good chance. Yeah, I don't know about you, John, but whenever you played the top players, I mean, the real tip-top ones, you always felt it was, you know, a double whammy when they got a good run of the balls on top of it. They were already the best players, but when the ball started running for them, it was like trying to hold back the tide. Six. And that was a whopping piece of luck he had there, Ronnie. Seven. Clever, purposely using the jaw of the middle pocket 12. to get position on this red. I think 13. the red he'd like to clear sooner rather than later. I don't see any need to play the cannon, but he'd love to get that red that's closest to the top cushion. That's stopping the black going in both corners. Seventeen. Lovely positional shot. Eighteen. And now a chance to play the black and get rid of that red that's blocking the black for the opposite corner. But as we said earlier, it's all about cue ball control. The positional shot from brown to that red. If you picked over your hand, you couldn't have played it any better. Twenty-six. It was inch perfect. Thirty-three. There's the old sidebar back. Sixty-seven points. Thirty-three. That, uh, leave him in a position where his opponent would need a snooker. I don't think he's need to play a cannon. There's loose reds on either side of that cluster that will go. Yeah, certainly the one on the right-hand side is possible. Not so sure about that back one there. You'd have to be plumb behind it, but this will tell us. Yeah, play for that bottom one. And we want an angle off this one because it looks like he'll have to manoeuvre a couple of reds out after this black or blue, depending which one he plays on. 50. He's left the perfect angle. If he feels as though he has to go into them. And he did have to go into them. Well, if he's not on the one to the Six. left middle, couldn't have hit them much better. If he's not on one, the one to the left middle, the one to the right middle, he's hampered. Well, thankfully, if, for him, he's on to the one to the left middle. 58. This blue, one more red, that's all that's required. 63. 64. And for 71. Reese, this is not the ideal start, obviously. 72. Mentioned about him trying to get a foothold in this and get a comfortable. But 
A little bit of luck that Ronnie O'Sullivan had early in the frame didn't help. But also, this is what it's like when you play the top boys. Make your mistake and you sit and watch. 77. Tough school. 78. Eighty-five. Eighty-six. Just about got the angle on the blue. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. Looking like it could be century number 845, John. Ninety-eight. Amazing. One hundred. It's wonderful to watch. And three. The control of that white ball is is something to admire. 107. 107. And of course he had the three centuries in his first match. This is his fourth century. 112. Reese Clark may be a little bit upset that he didn't get an opportunity early on, but Ronnie had a little bit of run of the ball and he leads 2-0.